a few requests lately for some better close-ups of the upper threading on the Brother LX3817. So I thought I'd give this a go. Maybe my skills have improved some. We'll see. First, let's make sure that everything is in the proper position. You need your hand wheel needs to be, there's a little ridge in your hand wheel. It needs to be lined up pretty closely with this notch. So just turn it this direction until that notch gets straight up with this. That makes sure that your needle is in the uppermost position and your take up lever is where it should be. So check that first. Then you need to have your foot in the raised position. Okay. Now your thread should be coming off the right side of your spool and when you pull it, the spool should turn in a clockwise direction. So check that. Now we're ready to get started. So first, we are headed over here to the number one position. So bring the thread over. Let's see if I can grab it with the other hand. Now, come under this and then bring it up through there. Now, I want you to put your finger on your thread and then on this side of it and then pull this. Give it a tug. There's a little wire guide down in here and you need to make sure that it gets in that guide good. So, give it a little tug down and to the right. Okay. We are ready to come down in step two. See, we're going straight down here. Then you're going to come up under your tension dial and make a U-turn. And then we're going to go straight back up. Now, as you go up, you need to swing to the right side of your take-up lever. This is your take-up lever. So when you bring this thread up, you need to be pulling it to the right. Then straighten up and go all the way back. Then you're going, and you can see the number four. It shows you making a U-turn there. You're going to slide it over to your left and come back down on that side, okay? There's a little slit in the back of that take-up lever, so that's why you're going all the way to the back, and then you cross over and then pull it back down. You want your thread to slide down into that slit and then it's going to be in a little hole at the very tip of this take-up lever, okay? So you can see it moving there. You see the little hole? It got in there. Now we're headed down towards the needle. Okay, you're just going to let it drop right on down this channel and then come to the back. Now right here is a little horizontal metal plate. We need to get the thread under there. So what I do is hold your thread horizontally, stretch it out like this, stretch your thread out horizontally, and just floss it right in between the little square piece of metal here and this. So it'll be right down coming out from under there, okay? All right, so there's where we are now. The only thing left to do is get it through the hole of this needle. So at this point, you can let your foot down. That puts a little more tension on the thread. And if your thread has become frayed from threading it, you might want to snip that off. Okay. Now we're going to push it right through the hole from front to back. straight through front to back. You can press it over to the side, grab it with your other hand. Now when you pull it through, be sure and hold this side because you don't, sometimes this thread will make a loop and as you whip it through there, it'll loop around your needle and you don't want that. So be careful, make sure that your thread doesn't get looped around itself. And then you are completely threaded. I hope this helped clear that up for some of you who were needing better close-ups. 
So be sure and hit the subscribe button and come back to see me at mom's. Thanks for watching.